In today's video, I want to show you how you can use an iPhone and the GPT-4 Vision API as a security camera that logs changes and sends you emails with detailed updates. I really enjoyed working on this project, so let me show you how I did this. Okay, so here you can kind of see my professional setup here. So we got this kind of tripod thing, we got the iPhone on here pointing outside the window. It's balancing on kind of my headlight here, so very professional. Uh, but yeah, as you will see, this worked pretty good. But now, let's take a look at the flow chart. So here we kind of have the setup we just had a look at. This takes an image every fifth minute. The image gets uploaded to our Google Drive account. From that Google Drive account, we use a Google Drive API to download the latest images. These are processed with the GPT-4 Vision API that compares them. So we kind of compare image one with image two in the first loop. In the second loop, we compare image two with image three and look for changes, right? So this we kind of set with our prompt, as I will show you. Uh, those compare descriptions will be processed by the GPT-4 API to write logs and summaries. And again, this writes the email that is going to be sent as a report to the user with the Mailgun API. Uh, so pretty straightforward setup. We run it in a true loop with a 350 second sleep. That's uh, a bit over every five minutes, because since we take an image every five minutes, we want to wait a bit longer before we download the latest images. And yeah, that is basically the setup. Now let's take a quick look at the Python code. Let's take a quick look at some of our functions here. So we have the get drive service. This has to do with authentication from Google Drive API. We have the download latest image function. So this basically is exactly what it says. It looks at our Google Drive account and downloads the latest image and return its file path. And then we have the analyze image comparison. This takes two images as kind of an input and we use the GPT-4 vision preview model. I also put in the a timestamp here because I thought it was pretty cool to have like if you have this security cam you kind of want an exact time uh, yeah because that's kind of related if something happens right and yeah you can see here we have image two uh, image one and image two as an input and here is kind of a prompt so let's spend a bit of time on that so compare these two images and look for changes in the environment objects or activities include the following details Okay, so we have those details, day and night, weather, number of cars, number of bikes, number of people, number of animals, unusual activities in the image. So I kind of gave it like uh, an example here of the format I want. So it's basically what I just said, but it's just an example. So we kind of get this format every time, right? So you can say this is not a zero shot, it's like a one shot. Further on, we have the send email function. This is what we when we use the Mailgun API to send the email uh, with, uh, yeah, you can say the hourly log. And we have the chat GPT function that is important. This is what we use to write the logs and the emails and the summaries. So we use the GPT-40613 version. Was it anything? Yeah, yeah we have some global variables. Uh, I wanted to create a list with reports. So this is, uh, you can, if you see our true loop here, we have if reports equals 12, then we're gonna trigger this. Because I wanted to like collect logs every fifth minute for one hour. So 12 times five, that's uh, 60 minutes, right? And when this is equal to 12, we're gonna summarize last hour of observations. And this is what's gonna be sent to our email. It's called hourly log, hourly log summary. So I thought this was pretty cool, yeah clear the report list for the next cycle. So after one hour, this list gets wiped and we start all over again, right? And you can see we have this time sleep, 350 seconds. So this is gonna wait 350 seconds to check the Google Drive for new images every time. And when it has a new image, it's gonna compare it to the previous one, write the log, add one to our reports list. And that is basically the setup. So it's not that complicated, to be honest. It's just kind of linking different tools together. Uh, but I think that's enough. Now let's run it and see how this works in action. I also wanted to mention, if you want to try this for yourself, I'm going to be putting this up 
on our community GitHub. So you can find a link in the description if you want to support me uh, through the membership here on YouTube. I will give you access to the GitHub and you can download all the scripts we will be creating going forward. And we have some kind of a backlog if you want to take a look at that too. Uh, but now, yeah, let's run it. So let's go Python iPhone. I think it was Pi. Okay, so remember, this is going to take an hour. So I'm just going to be starting this now. I'm going to leave in kind of the screen up with the images so you can see them pop in. And we're going to take a look at the results uh, after an hour and also check our mail. Okay, so I just stopped this. It's been over an hour, so uh, I just let this run. I went to the gym. As I was at the gym, I got the uh, email, so that was pretty cool. So I could kind of check, has anything happened outside my house in the last hour? So let's take a look at the first image here. So this is kind of the first image we took. You can see there are one, two, three, and you could say there are four cars in this image because we have one car over there, right? And we have kind of three cars here. So let's take a look at the comparison of the image. So these two images are kind of the same, right? So if you look at the log here, so you can see, compare the two images. Uh, both images were taken during the day. Uh, the weather appears to be consistent. There are the same number of cars in both images, which is four. Yeah, that's great. No bikes, no people, no animals, no unusual activities. Uh, the images appear to be identical, uh, yeah, no changes. And it goes, waiting for 350 seconds before checking again. Okay, so that's cool, that's pretty accurate, I thought that was great. Uh, but I wanted to show you one big change in this image that we kind of took notice of. So if we go to image 8 and compare it with image 9, you can kind of see my neighbor pops up here. I'm really excited to see if that has triggered something. So if we go to image 8 and let's compare it with image 9 and let's check the log. Okay, so here you can see it. This is the image, yeah, 1444, perfect. So it kind of lines up with the image uh, number and yeah. And you can see the timestamp is one minute later. Okay, that's cool, that works. So both images during the day, no weather changes, number of cars, it's consistent, no bikes. Uh, there are no people visible in the first image, while there is one person visible in the second image walking on the grass. Yes, that is exactly what I was looking for. So you can see there are no unusual activities in either images. The person present in the second image seems to be engaged in a routine activity, likely walking through the yard. So I gotta say, yeah, pretty good. I guess we could have asked for more descriptions. Can you kind of see what he's doing? I know what he's doing. He's setting up some Christmas lights, I think, or something. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And there was nothing else to report in the images. Uh, it was just some cars changing. So we went from three to four cars. And uh, that worked well. But nothing else really happened because it's quite, quite a dull neighborhood. <laughs> but uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't notice it and it kind of wrote it down. Uh, but now let's check our mail. The mail we got from our hourly update. So here you can see the mail I got while I was at the gym. So it kind of says hourly log summary. So we have some timestamp summary here. Over the last hour, multiple images comparisons were conducted. Here are the key observations. So all the images were taken during the day. Consistently clear weather. The number of cars varied between ranging from 2 to 6. Mm, I think it was from 3 to 6. However, each image of pair of images, number of cars ran. Okay. No bikes. People were rarely visible. In a few instances where people were present, they appeared only in one of the two images being compared. Okay. So, not a lot of description there, but that is a prompt issue, I think. No animals, no unusual activities were observed in any of the images. The scenes capture images were generally static, very little change or activity occurring. The majority of images appears to be identical pairs. Suggesting 
They were taken within a short time frame of each other. So that is basically the report we got. Uh, I think we can do some more work with the prompts here to get a better report. But this was just for testing, right? So yeah, worked as intended. So I was very happy with this. So just to conclude this, to summarize, uh, this worked exactly how I wanted it to do. And I was kind of expecting a lot of resistance setting this up, but it went very smooth. Kind of worked on almost my first attempt. So a bit surprised by that, but yeah. Enjoy this a lot. So, like I said, if you want to check it out, check out the link in the description below. Uh, other than that, stay tuned for more interesting projects like this. And yeah, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.